I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome to the final episode of Life is Strange True Colors. And I know, the final episode? I feel like we just started this game last week. We've been cranking these bad boys out episode after episode after episode. I just want the ending to be good. I just want the ending to be good. I don't care about anything that happened in the previous four episodes, which were all fire, by the way. I just hope that the ending is something that we can have a discussion on and we're not all in agreement that it sucks. I just hope that it's something that we could be like, okay, you know, I'm okay with that. We're not gonna know the ending, though, unless I shut up right now and get into it. If you guys cool with that, you down with that? Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! Welcome back, Alex. Thank you. Do you want to talk about your time in Colorado? That face in the background looks like the Game Grumps logo. Let's start with something positive. What did you learn from your visit to Haven Springs? So this wasn't before I went to Haven Springs? This is after? The meaning of home. Not to be afraid of my emotions. Nothing. <laughs> I didn't learn shit at Haven Springs. Not to be afraid of my emotions. I learned to let myself feel, I guess. And to not be afraid of those feelings. Every choice I make is going to be impactful, I think. Couldn't one argue that those old fears turned out to be justified? What do you make of that friction? <sighs> okay, so this is not happening right now. I suppose I'm proud it of is. you for trying. Never mind. You helped some people. Chased a mystery. Got to kiss a pretty girl. Yeah. No little tongue action. But Alex, you're right back where you started. I know. You're wrong. Yeah, you're wrong. I've experienced growth. You're wrong. I don't belong in here. If that were true, Alex, you'd know you were talking to an empty chair. Whoa. Whoa! Dr. Lin? If that is your real name? Who am I talking to? That dog in the corkboard? Dr. Lin. Come on, it's not funny anymore. What the fuck? Yeah, what the fuck is right? Yo, what the fuck is this? Let's look at this folder. You were talking to an empty chair. Bro, come on. That's when you know you're down bad. Alex Chen. I guess that's me. Case number 53322. That's what we are now? We're just numbers? Okay, let's take a look. Name Alexandra Alex Chen, age 21, gender female. Symptoms, emotional instability, occasional violent outbursts, hallucinations, visual, hallucinations, aural, delusional ideation, depression, anxiety, diagnosis, a bunch of question marks because they don't even Thrown know. down a... What? Wait, 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 wait. Is that the thing when Jed shot me and I fell down that whole mine shaft? Alex experiences a detailed and robust delusion that she is able to read other people's emotional states and believes that because of this ability, she is uniquely equipped to help others overcome their own emotional trauma. It's difficult to overlook the irony, someone as profoundly dysfunctional as Alex adapting the role of emotional caretaker. Had she not been returned to my care, I do not think it hyperbolic to speculate that her reckless attempts at fixing her friends and family would eventually have gotten someone hurt. It is my belief that Alex's delusion Delusions constitute a threat to her continued well-being as well as those of others as such I recommend Alex be thrown down an endless pit her body shattered against each jutting board and errant brick until she is forgotten in the darkness beneath the world this is in my professional opinion the most humane thing we can do for her Dr. Lin you got serious serial killer vibes 12 years ago I made a mistake the kind of thing that you I'm reporting you Dr. Lin to HR she will hear from me. Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. Y'all smell that? <laughs> Dr. Lin, you far in here? Because I smell that. I smell that bull coming straight out your mouth. I love the music that they put in this game, He's by the way. Don't belong to Dr. Lin. The non-copyrighted music that we can actually hear. 
You know, I've had two videos already copyright claimed. Uh, tuning peg. Hmm. Let me take those. These are mine. Can I make a 3D key out of that picture? Dude, that is legit on my titties. That is sick. How are you feeling today? I didn't notice that all the faces are Alex. They weren't Alex before. Nosferatu flickering lights. Got a guitar. Hey, my guitar. Knock, knock. Who's there? Not Dr. Lin. Oh, we got a knock on the case. Hey, I'm trying to sleep in here. Oh, who's there? Who wrote that? Um, Alex Chen. Alex Chen, who? Never heard My of her. Try again. Case has oh, never real funny heard sticky of me. note. Sure. These sticky notes, man. They really trying to talk. I'm gonna punch that sticky note in the huh. throat. Oh, great. Great. Another one of these, huh? I'll figure this out. I think I know what it is. It's gotta be her case number, right? I guess that's me. Case number five three three two two. My brain is activated today. What do they say? You only use like 10% of your brain? Using at least 26%. Check me out. 53322. Come on now. 53322. God damn, two. There you go. Enter that. It looked like it didn't even need the lock to open. Sounded like it was already open. I better be playing a non copyrighted song. Or using that to bash against Jed's forehead. So I'm pretty sure play. I'm gonna fix it first with the tuning peg. I'm probably missing something though. Maybe a string. So let me take a look at everything else here. Let's look at the poster. That also reminds me of the little avatars from Danganronpa 2. Is that what I look like? Really? Nah. Nah. Not even close. Pretty sure it's locked, right? Of okay. course. Okay. Alright, everybody. I know what's going on here. I'm pretty sure we're unconscious inside of that pit that Jed throws down. Because we got shot. And we fell down a fuckhole of a mine. Let me uh, take another sip. What's wrong? What are we getting into? Play something. Oh shit. <gasps> Yo, don't die on me, girl. We got this. I'm gonna make sure that we save her. I promise you all. <laughs> We're getting the best ending. <sighs> Alex, we got this. Uh, you, me, everybody watching. We're gonna figure this thing out. Watch. And then we're gonna whoop Jed's ass. Santa Claus looking ass. Looking like shredded Santa Claus. Santa Claus on a diet. Oh, damn. The board caught her fall. Oh, shit. That is so terrifying. I'm afraid of heights. I don't know what I'm afraid more of. Heights or falling? Or are they similar? I don't know. Oh, shit. I wouldn't do any sudden movements. I would just slowly put my hand on the ledge. So I can hey, you know, oh, wait. Yeah, no sudden movements. Or do you move quick? Like, do you move really quick so just in case it breaks, you can just grab something? Or do you move very slowly so you don't disturb the thing that you're on? I don't know. I mean, I pray that none of us are ever in that situation. Psst. Alex. <laughs> We're in heaven. This is the gates. Gabe. <gasps> okay. 
You're dead. He's like, so are you, dude? So? Lots of people are dead, Alex. Most people. Most people? What does that even mean? Actually, that's true. Most people are dead. I want to say a hospital. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Dr. Mendez to intensive care. Yep, definitely a hospital. (laughs) Gabe. Okay, here's what I do know. You are 10, I am 14. Our mother is sick, so is our father. But it's a different kind of sickness. Play your part. Huh? Ow! Gabe, why? I didn't do anything. Stop. Both of you. Dad. Behave. Shut up. It's not like you're my dad or anything. (sighs) Alex, go check on your mother. Okay. Mom? She was right over there. Waiting for me. No, we're gonna check everything out before we do anything, okay? Let's take a Gabe look at the TV. and I used to watch cartoons on this thing after school. So they would go to the hospital straight after school? That's so there tough on is. a kid. The painting that taught me that art sucked sometimes. <laughs> what is that called? Abstract art? We couldn't afford a private room. Just got lucky, I guess. Mom's keys. Mom used to fidget with her keys whenever she was worried. I have a statue like that outside of my mom's house. Um, they have big ass balls and you're supposed to rub them for good luck. So I just rubbed them. And uh, I guess I got good luck. It's too hot in this room. Unless I'm just some sicko rubbing a statue's balls. You know, when you've been through something in your own life that's kind of like this situation, you don't know what to say because you just know the feeling. So my heart kind of skipped a few beats when, um, when I saw this. How many nights did Dad spend in this room, sleeping in an uncomfortable chair and eating vending machine dinners? Like, I'm not going to say it out loud because that's my own private business, but I've been through so a situation like this. There's scary about watching your dad cry. Mom. Every time I saw her, I worried it would be the last. That's a scary thought. Hi, Mom. (coughs) Mom. Mom. Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Is that how it went? You don't think you missed anything? I clicked on every single thing in this room. No matter how much mom drank, her throat was always dry. It was always too hot in this room. Let me see if I missed anything. Let me make sure. Water, keys, TV, painting, empty bed, magazine, waste bin. Because you're a waste man. She's just on the other side. Oh no, not this again. What did I miss? Mom. I did everything. Mom. Oh shit. Water, Alex. Get her some water. Okay. What did I miss though? What? I'm sorry, mom. Okay, give me that. All right, here you go. Sorry about that, Mom. (coughs) This is sad. 
Like, I don't even want to say anything because I just feel bad. What's you up, Mom? almost never cried. Even when you were very small. Did you know that? That's because Alex is a G. That's been my biggest challenge with you. How do you take care of someone who is already so strong? That's a good question. She's like, get me some hot Cheetos from the vending machine. I'm sorry, everybody. My strong girl. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want you to make me a promise. Your brother. Your father. I'm not laughing about her. They are going to need you. You have to be strong. I'm just laughing at how dumb I am. And the dumbass Will jokes that I that? made. It wasn't even Alex. funny. It's not even funny. <laughs> Such a brave girl. How do you ever get so brave? Maybe she's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <sighs> That's rough, though. <laughs> she died just like that, though, after saying that. Like, you know when you see something in a movie and um, you're not crying, but you, you feel like you're about to do something that makes it look like you're crying? Like you're watching a movie and say a sad part comes on and then something starts itching right here, so you go like that. Or you just like go like, you know, you feel like something's going on with like your body that makes it look like you're crying to other people. But maybe I'm just awkward. Maybe I'm just uh, thinking that other people think I'm doing that. I don't know. But yeah, sometimes like when a sad thing comes on, I feel like I need to swallow like like that, you know, like gulp. God, Gabe, you scared the fuck out of me. Was that the last time you talked to her? Especially knowing that he's dead. Mom. It's like a ghost just chilling in the room. I... I think so. Do you miss her? I wish Gabe was still alive, man. I like this character. Gabe. What's going on? You're 11. I'm almost 15. Dad and I are time bombs. You keep running back and forth trying to defuse us both he's coming home this is going to suck so bad why is he mad is dad mad play your part wait Gabe where you going can you come back with some Popeyes Bro, that chicken skin off that Popeyes. I don't think we're gonna hear any music. We're just gonna hear the there arguing. There was only ever one thing to do when they got like this. Drown them out and wait for it to pass. Okay, let's turn it on. Let's feel the vibes. If this gets copyrighted just like the other two, so be it. I don't care anymore.
never mind. It's muted. Alex? Hey! It's okay. It's just me. That is sad. But you know that's not how it went down, right? Why is she misremembering things? Like, I didn't even have any part in doing any of this. So how am I supposed to know it? that's not how it went down? She didn't put on music. She probably went to go help out Gabe. It was my job to keep the peace. But no matter what I did... I tried so hard to keep my promise to her. What do they burn incense every night? I've had a few people that pass away, and the smell of incense burning always reminds me of people that have passed away. Mom and Dad had this TV before they had either of us. Gabe had barely used this backpack in weeks. Nobody could get him to go to school. The killer mistress tabs in this book weren't even close to right. Junior Headbangers Guitar Academy Intermediate Level. Whoops. Back out of that. Gabe loved Son of Lead back when it was an indie. It was too gory for me. Son of Lead. Ashtray. Cleaning Dad's ashtray was not my favorite job in the world. He can clean his own damn ashtray. At least I managed to hold on to you, Shoo Shoo. Always gotta have that one comfort thing. Dad's laundry. I always set it here when it was done so he could find it. Mom's old sewing kit. <laughs> Don't think I've ever even tasted a butter cookie. Does that even come with cookies? I swear, every time you open one, it's either like coins or sewing stuff. Thanks There's for trying, never any cookies in that cat. bitch. My job was to sort them in order of how close we were to a collections notice. It was full of greeting cards. Mom kept every single one we ever got. Damn, what the hell could they possibly be talking about? Come inside. I wanted to be a werewolf that Halloween. Couldn't afford the costume. Almost empty. Almost always. Yo, raise your hand if you know how to cook rice. Two cups water for one cup rice. Set timer for 30 minutes. Do your history homework. Serve. Well, Alex just taught you how. Uh, my mom taught me how to do it with the fingers. Like you put your fingers in there and the level of the water will determine if that's good enough for you. Maybe I'll show you all one time in a video. We never really but if you know that technique, hey, died. shout out to you. She was such a good cook. Gabe used to steal dad's beer all the time. It was like the one thing they didn't fight about. I didn't even know what CPS was. Just that I was afraid of them. Okay. Can we go upstairs? Nope. I can't believe they were ever this happy. We good? Water stain. When wasn't this place falling apart? I think that happens from like air conditioners or like rain, just like slowly eroding like the walls and shit. Do we look or open? Gabe and dad were so loud when they fought. Okay, I'm gonna open this up. Gabe I think and I dad looked at were everything. so loud when they fought. Oh, where are you going? Are you gonna tell her? Or is that my job? Keep your voice down. Fine, I'll do it. Keep your voice Alex, down. They're arguing dad outside. Dad like lost 10 his minutes. job again. Pretty sure somebody so already broke. recorded them and posted on again. TikTok. Again, don't talk to me that way. Despite what you may believe, you do not know everything. You think what? I laid myself off? It's okay. We'll figure it out. I could, um... I don't know, Dad. But what are we supposed to do now? We gotta eat. We can sell some records. Or or what about my guitar? We can sell that? Alex, Aww, what is it gonna to take help out. to get you to stop defending him? If your mother could she's see you now. To help I don't out. want to hear about mom. Babe! <laughs> I'm so tired of you using her as an excuse Poor to Alex. be a piece of shit. <laughs> Don't fucking touch me, piece of shit. Dad. Oh, fuck. <sighs> and that's when CPS took them Alex. away. I'm okay. It's okay. It was an accident. Alex, I, I, I didn't. Dad. Dad, it's okay. Really, 
I'm not hurt. <laughs> oh, poor Alex. Gabe and her don't deserve that. I can't that. do this. Dad? You know, I feel for the dad, too. He's just trying to make ends meet for him and his kids. And then losing the wife? Wait, he just leaves? No, I don't feel bad Someone for him no more. Someone will come. That woman from CPS. Fuck no. Someone. Bro, just put a backpack on and leaves? Dad. Like he's going off to college? I'm sorry. No. Fuck you, John. Uh, no. That's his name, right? I just saw Dad. a J. He said, mine now. He really did say mine now. I was just being stupid. That is so fucked up. Like, I, I was going to say I feel bad because he was just trying to support the three of them. But damn, dude just packed a couple pairs of underwears. Probably had skin marks on him and he just dipped. Damn. I really feel bad for Alex, though. She was just trying to be a peacemaker. She just wanted them to be together. She was like the glue. But unfortunately, it didn't hold up. I'm sorry, Alex. Gabe's not going to be here for this one. Because there's no way that he would know the memories of the foster care. John Chen. Yeah, that's his name. Fuck you, John. All my homies hate John. Hey, can I ask you a question? Yeah, sure, bro. Which orphanage is this? <laughs> the one in Grant Park? I love Gabe. Why you have to thought it'd be nicer. I can't do this, okay? I I can't. He's gonna poke his head out from the other side. No, never mind. You need to. No. You need to be honest about what you see. I was. I have. And now I'm done. Almost. But not yet. You were 12. I am 16. I steal a car and end up in juvie. Gabe, oh, bad come boy. on. Then you're 13. 14. 15. Orphanages, group homes, musty rooms in the strange oh, houses of musty foster rooms. parents. They're the worst. By the time you're 17, you've seen them all. Smell like nuts cooking in Somewhere 400 degrees. Line, you start to feel things. Your own emotions don't belong to you. You have nothing. No one. You are alone. Hey, shout out to Gabe's voice actor. I don't want this. And Alex's. Alex. Tiny claps because they're talking. Play your part. Tiny claps because there's dialogue. Play my part. Okay, I'm gonna play my part. I'm gonna look at the I letters. I used to write one every day. Stupid. Why? I don't know why. Whenever I you see John Chen. Looks like I'm and looking I at John he Cena. Me. Hence, stupid. They should have stenciled the same thing on all of us. Do you really feel like you were their property? We didn't belong to anyone else, did we? I took a fork in here one time and hid it under my mattress. Just cause, fuck you. <laughs> That's gonna be my answer to everything. Hey, why are you wearing a blue shirt? No, just because fuck you. Dormitory rules. One, residents must adhere to their assigned schedules at all times and are not permitted to loiter in the dormitory outside the designated free time. Two, glass and silverware are to remain in the canteen. Do not bring these in the dormitory. Three, non-resident guests are not permitted in the dormitory. Four, 
Lights Out occur at 9 p.m. every evening. No music, no TV, no screen time, no fun after Lights Out. Might as well have said that. Failure to adhere to any of these rules will result in disciplinary action. Yeah, and you're gonna walk the plank. What the hell is this shit? Where are we? We're in the gulag? We weren't what we what weren't did you say? Oh. We weren't allowed to bring glass into the dorms. So we had to drink from this thing. Like oh, hamsters you just in a cage. Put your mouth in the nozzle? Except if you give a hamster a glass, they don't toss it at the other hamster's heads. God. They put me on so many meds. Uh, Charlie Alvarez, Ara Pirazel. Some of them helped. A little. None of them fixed me. I don't even know how to pronounce in those In their ships. defense, mutant empathy isn't exactly in the DSM. Uh huh, okay. They used to say this place wasn't a prison. If you got barred windows, it's a prison. If well, you can't, if you can't go out anytime safe. you want to, it's a prison. Guess so. Whatever the reason, the end result was prison bars. All right, let's see how motivational this poster is. Guess I missed a few days. Happiness is a choice you make every day. Shut your after school special up. Um, what else? Door? Can I look at this door? Pretty sure, pretty sure it's locked. Must be after curfew. We're not well. There are my strings. Where's my guitar? How are you holding up, shoe? Can't believe how long you've had that thing. That thing was my only friend after you left. Fancy. Everyone had one good outfit. We wore them to meet the parents. Did it help? Kinda think you already know the answer to that question. Bro, that monkey is scary. I would not want to see that monkey in a dark hallway. I remember the kid who put this here. Sadie... Sally. Uh, something with an S? You were friends at first, right? Way at first. Then I freaked out on her and she was done with me. Just like everyone else. Is this where she unlocks her powers? What the fuck? Bro! Dude! God damn, why is that terrifying? She's been through so much. I just don't know if we're prepared for a trouble girl. That is disturbing. What the? Yo! Come on, man. It says here she's sensitive. What is that? It means she's sensitive. Come on, parent two. Why don't you be more sensitive to our sensitivity? Dumb dick. I wonder why she's never found a home before. Cause fuck you. That's why. I got your back, Alex. I got your back. I got your back like Cairo Prague. I'm sure she's a sweet girl, but she's not for us. She's awfully old, isn't she? This is the kid that's been in all those fights, right? I want to help. I, I really do, but there's just something oh. broken. I'm so sorry, Alice. Oh. With her. Damn. This is genuinely making me really sad. <sighs> so did she escape the foster place? I'm sorry. Oh no, she's 21, never mind. She could have just left. Why? You need to see it. See what? That nobody picked me. Nobody picked you. Nobody picked you. Nobody wanted you. Mom died. 
dad left, I bailed. You couldn't keep us together. It was my job to keep us- You were 11 years old. You were 11 years old. You were a kid, Alex. She was 11 and one of the parents had the nerve to say she was too old? People leave. Nah. Life gets hard. Sometimes it's a big shit sandwich. Make it better. Be angry at dad. Miss mom. Hell, be angry at me. But don't give up. Wise no one words, gets to Gabe. tell you what you're worth. And no one can take your life away. Fight. I'm not sure I... You have a gift. It's something you don't even understand. You can change the world. Make it better. Now get up. What? Get up and fight. All right, let's go. I'm the inner voice now. Gabe should be a motivational speaker. That shit got me hyped. I feel like I could change the world right now. Come on, Alex. <gasps> See? Told you, I'm in her inner voice. She heard me. Alex, look up. See? <laughs> she, she, I'm in her inner voice. She just does what I say. All right, push yourself up. There you go. Add a girl. Now we're going to figure out how to get out this mine. I think Jed killed all those people. I called it in the first episode. I was like, Jed hiding something, man. I think he killed all those people. And they helped him cover it up. Like, the name Jed just sounds... It just sounds evil. Blue Cat Cafe. I grabbed those, right? Yeah? That's my W? I'll take that dub. She should honestly be dead though. Like, how high is that fall? What are we better figure out some more secrets here? If Jed's down here, I'm done, bro. Out of here. Okay. At least we're alive. That broken ladder's not gonna do anything. No more ladder. Not that I'd be much good at climbing. I know. I was gonna say, if you look up, that ladder's not even gonna get you to that part right there. Okay. Let's go this way. Let's let's figure out what we're gonna do, everybody. There's a tunnel here. Pretty sure it's just gonna be more shit here. Dead rats. Hey, Jed, come on, man. Can't die on me right now. I'm going to choose not to read anything into this. Jed, get up. Come on, Jed. You can't be dead. Mine's growing into mines, just like Jed said. Like, I would honor this dead rat than the rat that shot us and put us down in this mine. I could almost laugh if it wouldn't hurt so much. Oh, a pickaxe. Use it to kill Jed. Please use it to kill Jed. Why is this so spooky? How long has this stuff been down here? It's been down here for years. <sighs> Holy shit. be like a civilization down here is that somebody oh no 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 please got any powers that'll just make this shit lit that means we're losing oxygen or unless we don't have lantern i can do this i can do this why is this creepy Yo, they got me fucked all the way up if they think I'm gonna walk around in the dark. Out. Oh, her eyes were adjusting.
Okay. That's something. That's never a good sign. What do you mean that's something? I would not walk toward that with a 50-foot pole. Alex, this is your inner voice speaker. What are you doing? That I'm not going there. Is the only lead I've got. That means there's a bunch of dead bodies here. Oh, crap. Yeah, this is not good. Red means bad. Don't you know, like, your color association? Green good. Blue calm. Yellow caution. All right, boys. Getting close. Held average for life, huh, Jed? Dig so deep, we see where the devil sleeps. Goddamn right. This is it. This is what Typhon tried to bury. There's a bunch of bodies down here. A lot of runoff moisture in this soil. But Jed, we gotta call it. This dig is fucked. Nothing's fucked. Jed, we got no pumps running. No, my teams have never quit a dig this deep before. We finish the job. Okay. Steady goes. Steady. The fuck was... <laughs> Boom! Come on, clear the tunnel! I told you, he was the one responsible for Who's all the people radio? dying in here. Jed! And then they Fuck. twisted it to make him look Jed. like a hero. Jed! Oh my god. I knew it. I called that we shit in the first move. episode, didn't now. I? There's still men back there. They'll drown. Yeah, and so will we if we don't get the fuck out. Make the call, Jed. God damn it. God damn it. Everyone, let's go. Now. <coughs> Smells like fireworks. Must be where Typhon blew the charges. So did Jed think that the police were never gonna investigate here if Alex was missing? I guess maybe they'll just say that she left town, huh? And then never go looking for her? I don't know. Wait, how? Dad. John was a minor? No way. Where the devil sleeps? Oh shit, this is where all the bodies are? Hold on. This doesn't make any sense. Dad! Come back! Oh wow, he Dad, really you was son there. of a bitch! Chen, you gotta stop, man. What the fuck? So was it just a coincidence Chen! that the whole family fuck ended you, up Chen! being in the same place? Come back! Alex, Gabe, and it's John? Over. Chen, he's not coming back. I'm or did sorry. Gabe know that his dad lived here? I'm so sorry. What? Okay, so I need answers. Because John ran away, let the kids to just fend for themselves, and then does Gabe follow John to Haven Springs? To try to rekindle that father-son relationship? I don't know. Well, at least we made it out alive. And then Jed's there to finish the job. He's just standing there with a pistol like this. <laughs> oh, God. They did a horrible job burying the secret. Typhon sucks. If the police really wanted to, they could just walk through that rusty gate. Find evidence of people dying in foul play. We raise our drinks to Jed Lucan, who at this location on December 30th did all that. Spit on it. <laughs> yeah. I can't wait to see the look on Jed's face. <laughs> when Alex just walks through the bar, it's gonna be badass. BL closed for counseling. During my time here, I've come to realize what makes Haven so special. It's a flower shop run by multiple generations, a bar owner who greets every customer by name. 
It's a spring festival tradition going back a hundred years. Diane, your breath stinks. History, loyalty, pride. From all that ass kissing. These values which define Haven are the same values that Typhon was built on. And that is why our partnership has been so successful. She don't even believe what she's saying. It's been my privilege to renew Typhon's commitment to Haven. We believe in this community, and we're tremendously excited for its future. Uh, Thank you, Diane. I think I speak for all of us when I say we're eager Ducky looks to make like he wants this to official. Die. So, time to vote, folks. And then lunch. Psych. <laughs> Jed! Fuck you, Jed! <laughs> yeah, get wrecked, Great Value Santa Claus. Uh-oh. Alex! Oh my god! I'm fine. You are not fine. We have to get you to a doctor. What happened to you? Pike, shoot him. I would run if I were you. I'm gonna be okay. This will be hard to hear. Yeah, Ryan. I forgot I that your father- I found out something you need to hear. I'm sorry. Yeah, you gotta cut the rope on your pops what? too. Alex, you're hurt. Where's my nose at you? Do you need help? We can call an ambulance. Typhon's been lying to all of you. And so has Jed Lucan. Tell him, girl. You tell him! Alex, what's going on? Really? Re really? Jed? Jed? Really? We're gonna do that? We're gonna put on that face? We're gonna put on that face. Okay, Jed. Punch him! Kill him! Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you. What He's like, the oh. hell happened? Oh, Alex. Oh. I was down in the mine last Rip night. Rip that mustache off his face. I saw what Typhon's been I hiding for 12 it. years. Jed Lucan isn't a hero. That whole story is a lie. Jed caused the accident. And then he abandoned seven of his men. He let them drown to save himself. Because he's a bitch. There were pictures of me and Gabe down there in the dirt. Because one of those miners was my father. The probability of that, right? Typhon wanted to keep this covered up in case it jeopardized the vote. They're afraid. They're ruthless. They're ruthless. All they care about is making more money. They'll do whatever it takes to push this expansion through. I said it was about money. So Bottom they decided to bury the, the evidence. And nothing was going to stop that blast. Not even the fact that there were four people up in the mountains. That's how Gabe was killed. Jed knew all along. He covered up the truth about the past, about Gabe. And when I found out, as you can see, He tried to kill me, too. This man just loves to kill. He's technically a serial killer. Yeah, Ducky. I know it makes you uncomfortable. Why aren't any of you saying anything? They're all in on it! We don't want to embarrass you, Alex. What? Not embarrassed. I didn't ask you. I wasn't asking you. The things you've said obligate me to at least address them. Um, Jed literally shot Alex. Right These in accusations chest. are. Well, they're insane. Okay. And trying to go into the right. mine was obviously no, a very dangerous, very illegal thing to do. Okay. Now I'm pissed. But we all sympathize with your situation. You've been through so much. Your brother was your only family, wasn't he? These fake I can only imagine phonies. how much you want an explanation for his loss. Something to give you comfort and make your life seem less unfair. <laughs> I know you have a conscience. You suppress the evidence. 
Are we supposed to just want to slap everybody that isn't saying anything in the face? Because I feel like doing that right now. Like, my hand's shaking. It's like, I'm like, down, boy, down. <laughs> I know you have a conscience. You suppress the evidence. Diane, come on. I know you got one. Why don't you just tell the truth? You've been planning your exit from Typhon anyway. What? You never signed up for threats or attempted murder. You hate this. Now's your chance to stop. Dad, do you have any idea what Alex is talking about? Let me take a wild guess. He's going to say no. no. I don't. Just a wild guess. I've tried to be there for Alex since Gabe died. I thought, I don't know. I hoped I could be something of a father figure to her. All I can guess is, sometimes when we're hurting, the people we lash out at are the ones who were trying to help. I mean, you were like a father figure. You were kind of like John Chen, a dickbag. You're lying. You're a monster. You tried to kill me. How can you stand there and say these things? Alex. You're a monster. Does she still have the Please. bullet inside of her from Jed's gun? I know this is hard to accept. You all trust him. I did too, but I'm telling the truth. I believe you. Of course I do. Thank you, Steph. Appreciate that. Anybody else? I believe you too. Thank you, Charlotte. I'm horrified and shocked and still processing everything, but I believe you. Ducky, come on. Who got you the little, little drinky drinky? Little shoddy shoddy? Who got you that? Remember. I would like to speak. Thank you, Ducky. I've known Jed a very, very long time. Ducky? And, uh, Miss Jen? Alex? I'm realizing I don't quite know you as well as I thought. Wow, um, what the fuck, Duck? Some allowances must, what the of fuck, course, Duck? be made given your injuries and resultant confusion. I think that belt's on a little too tight, because But talking reckless. It saddens me to hear you make these terrible and incredible accusations against my friend. Hmm. All right, well, Ducky, Duck's off the Christmas that's list. That's enough. Fuck you. Don't let him make you feel bad, sweetheart. No one here thinks you're a bad person. Eleanor. You from know the flower shop? our mind can play tricks on us. None of it is your fault. Where are you going with this? It's so hard to admit you need help. Uh. But it's always better in the end. We're all worried about you. Let us help you. Yo, it's really pissing me off that people don't have Alex's back. Why won't anybody believe her? Don't worry, Hi. Alex. I got this. Thank you. Oh, for fuck's sake. Have a USB stick full of recordings. Yeah. Yes. We went through My this guy. yesterday. Your superiors closed the case. <gasps> None of us have time for conspiracies. Fuck yeah, Pike. Yeah. You're trying to weasel your way out of things again, huh? Yeah. I know your game. Weasel way out of this. I know Don't I... test me, Jason. Weasel your way out of these guns. <laughs> you know what? Mm. I'm not scared of you anymore. And not of you, not Typhon. All right, that's enough. Deputy Pike, do you have some kind of personal issue with me? Like hell I do. Jason. Well, given that your judgment in this matter is emotionally compromised, you should probably remove yourself oh, from- Oh, cut the crap. If you think you could shut me up- Jason, I think you better pull it. I would like to speak You believe me? Concerns Please me back me up. Member of this Ryan, do you believe us? You believe me. Right? What has she done for you not to believe her? 
I mean, I know that's your Why dad. Why are you doing this? I'm not your lap dog anymore. Deputy Pike, I am not responsible for any are you kidding me? My dad is not a murderer. <gasps> Were you afraid we couldn't get Typhon? Is that why you need someone else to blame? Ryan. I thought we were in this together. For Gabe. Ryan. No. I'm not gonna let you do that to me anymore. Ryan, what the hell? I know he's your dad, but look at her. Why would she lie about this? It's going too far. Alex almost died. It's not true. I'm amazed that people aren't taking fuck this as you, seriously Ryan. as it is. After everything? Seriously, fuck you! She literally Stop. got shot and fell down a mine. Whoa. Whoa. Jed, confess your sins. I know why you tried to kill me. I'm about to splash holy water on this fool. It's not what you tell yourself. That you thought it was best for Haven. This was never about Haven at all, was it? This was about you. I know it's easier. Not having to think about the men you buried. You want to look away and pretend the people you hurt aren't people. But I won't let you. My father worked for you. His name was John. He was a victim. He was a fighter. He was a screw-up. He was a fighter. The world never gave him anything for free. He fought just to stay alive. He fought for us. Maybe he was finally winning. But you killed him. And then Gabe, my big brother. He was starting over. He was happy. He was building a family. He was building a family here. Doing it his own way. Figuring it out as he went along. He was so nervous about it, and so excited. And he brought me here to be part of that family. But he died. Because of you. He almost killed all three of them. And then there's me. For so many years, I just wanted to survive. To get through. Haven changed me. I started to think about the future. I want to play music. I want to help people. I want to belong. I want to belong somewhere. I want to know that there's a place and a group of people who wouldn't be the same without me. I was starting to feel that here. And you tried to murder me. You would have ended my life just so you wouldn't have to face the truth. Damn. Get me in my feels. You've forgotten it, haven't you? You've plastered over it with another story. That you're a good man. That you're a hero. Yeah, that you're a good man. Or a hero. You tell yourself you're a hero. A strong leader. Sometimes that means making hard choices. Decisions that could lead to people dying. Few men could handle that. 
Haven's lucky to have you. But that's the lie. If you scrape it away, what do we see? You're a coward, you're selfish, you're a pawn. You're a coward. Eleven years ago, you led a group of men to their deaths. And you couldn't even say those words out loud. Because you're a coward. Those eyes, though. You couldn't imagine saying it to your Even wife. I'm getting hypnotized by them. I'm just like... Saying it in front of your son. Not Jed's eyes. I'm talking about Alex's eyes. Fuck Jed. Every day you were brave enough to go underground and look death in the eye. But you couldn't muster the courage to admit a mistake. I can feel you trying to pull away. Don't. The truth hurts. Sometimes it's so awful you think you're gonna break. But when you come out the other side, and you're whole and free and still alive, then you'll finally know how strong you really are. Why did it flash I see red? the truth about you. You hate yourself. You hate what you did in the past. You hate what you've done to keep it secret. And the more you deny that hatred, the worse it grows. I know who you are. I've seen the worst parts of you. But I forgive you. And I condemn you. Why would you forgive him? Why would you forgive him? I don't forgive that. And I condemn you. He got the dad and the brother killed. And he tried to kill, um, Alex. Why would you forgive that? <laughs> Holy crap. That got intense. And the news is still coming in on the Typhon mining scandal that has rocked the western slope town of Haven Springs where a council meeting was the scene for shocking revelations. Local bar owner and council president Jed Lucan admitted in a tearful confession to covering up the deaths of seven Typhon employees as their manager 12 years ago. A recent cover-up, which involved a clandestine and unpermitted explosion to thwart inspections, caused the death of Haven local Gabe Chen last month. Mr. Lucan is currently in police custody awaiting arraignment. We will have plenty more about this developing story, including the resignation of Typhon CEO, the market impact, and what it all means for your drive time commute coming right. <laughs> That's some God mode aim. Like, I want you to try that with your own shoes. Yeah, shoes. the silence is worse. I need to get some air. And I know some people are going to tell me in the comments, you should have forgave him, Jay. You should have forgave Jed. Fuck After Jay. After summoning all my strength and willpower, I'm now ready to move from the bed to the rooftop. Yo, on God, fuck Jed. I've got some continued support for you. We at Typhon Mining would like to express our gratitude toward Haven Springs for your continued support. We have issued a statement which is available for you to read on our website. My blog said, the poster has disabled replies. Of course you did. Okay, Do Charlotte. I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait? I kind of think I need a Charlotte Harmon portrait. Don't we all? Hello, friends. I've decided to open back up to commissions. I think we're all looking for ways to stay busy right now, and making art has always been my favorite method. So please get in touch if you want a portrait. I try to keep my rates reasonable, and I offer a discount for first-time commissions. Josh Hopkins said, Awesome news! Ashley McFarlane said, Should we call the shop? Charlotte Harmon said, That works fine. The phrase, one. Recent Events, is doing some work in this post. 
The Black Lantern will remain closed to regular business until further notice. Gunnison it County never Sheriff. Ends. Holy crap. A statement regarding the ongoing investigation in Haven Springs. We appreciate the community's concerns. Details are still emerging and we are cooperating with the state police. We currently have exactly as much info as any of you. State police have tapped Deputy Jason Pike to provide assistance in this case, and as such, management of this account has been handed over to another deputy. While we acknowledge that Deputy Pike has come to occupy a special role in the Haven Springs community, we urge you to direct all inquiries through official channels. Angela said, I just don't understand how all of this could happen under your noses. What is going on there? Mike said, this is not an acceptable statement. Ben said, nothing but respect for our boys and blow. Cass said, singular boy in beige who danced to Typhon's tune. Ashley said, there's no way the cops didn't know. There's something they're not telling us. Follow the money. Aaron James said, drop your tinfoil hat, you loan. Okay, Eleanor. Hello, neighbors. Thank you for making last night's special festival. Oh, never mind. Is that it? Okay. Um, I don't want to lie down. I definitely don't want to look at any of that. Berlin does sound pretty good right about now. Yeah, it does. Shout out Berlin. Shout out Berlizzi. Even though it was hard... I'm glad I let Charlotte overcome her own anger. Bomber jacket. This is I my favorite kind of jacket. Bring himself to get rid of it. Put it on, please. No? Okay. Still looking out for me, huh, Pike? Alex, found this in Jed's house. After everything, I thought you ought to have it. Pike. Thanks. Nothing like being called delusional by someone you trusted. That one really hurt. Yo, Ducky, though. Fuck Ducky. All I'll my homies hate Ducky now. Exactly what happened to me down there, but I'll always be grateful. Oh yeah, that was Gabe's little matches. Oh my god, how did I not remember that? I have bad memory, everybody. Please don't hate me. Please. Should we look at the Bard hat? The LARP was two days ago. That doesn't seem possible. We got a lawyer up. Maybe I do deserve some dollar sign justice, but. I'd much rather be able to move on with my life. Better call Phoenix right? Or edgy baby, depending on what side you're on. Guess I'm ready to go upstairs. Or maybe not. Hey, Steph. Alex, wait. Before you say anything, I have to get this out. Okay. What you did at the council meeting, it was the bravest thing I've ever seen. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> and it made me want to be brave, you know too. So, here it goes. I want to be with you. Hey. I don't give a shit about playing music hey, or hey. seeing the world. <laughs> I mean, I do, but only if it's with you. And if you'd rather stay here instead, then... Oh, Fuck it. Hey, you didn't even give her a choice! I stay here too. Berlin sounds pretty nice this time of year. Your ticket. That was amazing. Oh, it was a ticket for one? Okay, yeah, rip that shit up. That was amazing. I've never had anyone barge in to tell me that they wanted to be with me before. Yeah? How'd it feel? Pretty freaking good! I wonder if we went with Ryan if he would have reacted the way he did. Probably not, huh? He would have had uh, Alex's back. Given me a lot to think about. But you never know. Well, good. That was the idea. We made the right choice with Steph. Steph and Alex. You know where to find me. Good luck, Chen. Thanks, Steph. So if they're together now. Are they going to have pet names? Because Chen and Steph? What are some names that people say? Besides the generic, like, baby or babe. I don't know. Like, Pooh Bear? Monkey? I, I don't know. All right. Just tell me. Jeez, what? Gabe, you scaring the fuck out of me, My dude. My future. Can't just be what popping up like this, especially when you're dead. That's some conjuring stuff. The night of the spring fest, Steph made a strong push for leaving with her. Playing on the road. The excitement of the unknown. That sounds pretty nice. 
course. That was before all the shit went down. <laughs> Come on. You're the know-it-all. So tell me. Actually, I do know what you should do. You should stay in Haven. Hmm. You're right. Really? I want to know why. You really think so? Of course. You finally have a home, a job, people who actually like you. Why would you give that up? That's true. That is true. Because she's been wanting stability since she was 11. <sighs> maybe even before that. Because we don't even know how long the mom was sick. Then again, maybe leaving would be better. Oh, don't play two sides of the fence what? here. Come on. Nobody You're likes young, that guy. You suddenly have a little money, friends. And don't you think it's time to give this music thing a real shot? No, you should definitely leave. Gabe! Fuck off. <laughs> I hate you, Gabe. Nah, I don't. Stop it, Gabe. I love Gabe. He's a good dude. I don't need the mysterious spirit bullshit right now. I just need... I just need my big brother. <laughs> That's really sad. Sorry. That's getting me emotional, man. I know. That's tough. I don't know why that line hurt something. Me. It's three hours from now. A bus pulls away. You're not on it. And neither is Steph. Life goes on. Doesn't life go on either way? <laughs> you get a job working with Steph at the record store. Those air guitar sessions hit different. All those years of being a music snob finally pay off. And little by little, time does its thing. I'm really gonna have to choose to stay or go home. Okay. Oh man, I don't know what to do. The apartment starts to feel less like a museum and more like a home. We made the right choice with Charlotte, by the way, everybody. Thoughts of Jed, of Typhon, even of me, begin Aww. to fade into the background. Even the moose head? What did the moose ever do to anybody? The moose was just being a moose. Let the moose head live or die. Just a dead head hanging on the thing. How that thing about it? That's pretty disturbing. Yeah, good thing we took down that moose head. Damn, Mac. You threw away a real one. All because of your actions and your assholish nature. Okay, Charlotte found love again. See you, my girl. Rooftop is your stage. You perform every week to a small but adoring group of fans. You mean fan? Maybe while you play, you wonder what could fan? have been. Performing for more people in more cities, sharing your music with the world. She's 21, right? Or maybe you never think about that much at all. I think I kind of want her to explore the option of leaving and trying to be something. You don't know exactly she's still when so it young. happens. 
But one day you look around and find that you have transformed this place just as much as it has transformed you. And the most extraordinary thing of all is just how normal it feels. But like I said, Alex has been trying to find stability. It. You don't doubt it. So I don't know what to pick. I wonder what might have been. It's your life. The life you fought so hard to have. And for the first time in a long time, you just live. That's a good option. Thank you. Don't mention it. You really think I'll transform Haven? Of course. You already have. With your gift, your music, just by being you. Brother of the year, everybody. But Alex, that doesn't mean you have to stay. You have the potential to do that anywhere you go. Do what? Go where? Where am I supposed to go? I don't have any other home. That is true. But you didn't have any home before coming here. And look what happened. The truth is, there's no telling what that version of your future might be. The only promise is the adventure. That's a good quote. So? I like that. What do you think? I don't know why I'm getting emotional. I think the voice acting is just that good. Fuck, shout out to the voice actors and the voice actresses. Shout out to everybody in this game. I don't know, it's getting me emotional for some reason. Stay in Haven, seek adventure. What do we do? I mean, he basically just told us what's gonna happen if we stay in Haven. Does that mean he's right? He's kind of just predicting it at this point. Seek adventure. She's 21 years old. Here, listen to me, everybody. Listen to me, okay? If we stay in Haven, we pretty much play out the scenario that Gabe just told us right now. Beautiful story. Beautiful. She's still 21. She's gonna, you know, grow in the community. She's gonna see the kids grow up to become adults. She's gonna become a successful person in her little tiny world of Haven. And it's just gonna be a good, normal life. If she seeks adventure, she's 21 years old. She's still a baby. That's still so young, so much to learn, so much growing to do. You know, you can be anybody you wanna be if you just try something. Like, you can try anything you want to do. Like, anybody watching right now, you can literally try something that you've never done before. You could turn out to be really good at it, and you could be successful at it, and you can go anywhere you want to go. If you fail, that's not an L. That's a lesson. I mean, technically, that is an L. Yeah, an L doesn't mean a loss. It means a lesson. So even if you try something and you fail, it's a lesson. And then you went through that experience. That's what life is at the end of the day. It's just a bunch of experiences. That's the only thing that we're going to take with us when we die. And that's something that I learned as I got older. So with that said, maybe I should stay in Haven. Because you're going to have those experiences. But it's not as much as having the adventure. Because Haven is always going to be there. Haven is always going to be Haven. You seek adventure and it turns out that's not the life you want to live. You can go back to Haven and still live the life that Gabe said, right? I think I kind of want to seek adventure. I just want to see where life takes us. If you all want to see what happens if we stay in Haven, I might try that. I think I am going to go back and choose that option, but I want to seek adventure. Let's I see know what, what happens. I want. Damn. Yeah, this game has no business making me feel emotional. Like, I don't know why. I just want to, like, cry for no reason at all. I think it's just the way they talk. Just makes me feel things. Ryan, don't be petty. Don't be petty, Ryan. We don't like petty. This is just a random clip of Ryan Arthur clenching his fist. Wait, we're going with Steph, right? Okay, I was gonna say, we're taking her with us. That was the that was the choice that I made. She's coming, right? Okay, thank God. I was like, wait, we're leaving Steph? Backtrack! <laughs> I need Max's power to revert time. Because I gotta choose the other option, but 
Steph is coming with us, so I like this option. Nothing wrong with seeking adventure. Like I said, Haven is always going to be here at the end of the day. Just go backpacking in Europe for like three years. Come right back. Play that guitar for the same people every Thursday night. And it's a wrap. It's curtains. But I like the choice that I made. Let's see where we go. Oh, look, look. She's the next big pop star. Is that what we're doing? <laughs> Steph said, fuck him up, babe. Yeah, babe. That's what we're going to do. <laughs> Is everybody here ready to rock to some non copyrighted music? Let's go. One, two, one, two, three, four. Hello, everyone. I'm Alex Chen. Hi, Alex Chen. And that's it. The only promise is the adventure. I like it. All right, so thoughts on this game. I freaking love this game. I freaking love this game. Alex is hands down my favorite character. They improved on like the robotic emotions of the characters' faces. Because I remember in the first one, the story was still good and I enjoyed the characters. But the facial expressions and just like the lack of soul inside of like the looks of the faces. I don't know. It just made me not want to take it seriously. I think I'm remembering it like that. I, I remember that they had like no emotion in their faces and I was just like, this shit is awkward as fuck. But I love Alex Chen. She's my favorite character, hands down. I love all the choices that I made, except the Charlotte one where I went back and redid that decision. But the ending, it was okay. I'm not even gonna lie to you all. The ending was all right. But the scenes where like um, Alex is talking to the people one-on-one, -on -one, like remember when she was talking to Jed earlier in this episode? That shit was intense. And then the one with Charlotte, when Charlotte was just expressing all of her anger inside of her head, and then Alex could read that part of her, her anger, that was intense too. There were so many intense parts when you could read their emotions and feel what they're feeling. I enjoyed that a lot. Like, that actually made me really connected to Alex because she could just feel what they're feeling. And yeah, Alex is my favorite character in the game. I like Steph too. Ryan was all right. Your run of the mill sidekick. Gabe, awesome character, loved him. Super predictable story though, I will say that. Like I was like, Jed, it's gotta be Jed. He looks like a dirty, filthy rat. He smells like rat. Somebody get this man some cheese cause he's so ratty. But yeah, I thought that the story was very predictable and cliche, but that doesn't mean I didn't enjoy it anyway. So let me see what the choices were. Alex hit the road to play her music. Alex stayed in Haven Springs. Most people stayed in Haven Springs? For real? Alex denounced Jed for his actions. Alex forgave Jed for his actions. Wow. Most of the people forgave Jed. That's crazy. Well, this is my playthrough for a reason, right? Alex claimed she learned not to fear her emotions. 52% of people did that. Alex claimed she learned the meaning of home. 44%. Alex claimed she didn't learn anything in Haven. 4% of people did that. You sickos. Some members of the council stood with Alex. 83% of people did that. None of the council members backed Alex? What is wrong with you people? Did you not talk to anybody in the game? Alex wanted to belong somewhere in the future. 42% of people said that. Alex wanted to help people in the future. You know what? I will say something, especially about Alex denouncing Jed for his actions. Just because it's a low percentage doesn't mean it's right or wrong. It's just what most of the people that played this went with. So we're part of the minority that didn't forgive Jed. So it doesn't mean it's right or wrong. So let's see. Alex didn't sit on the bed. 56% of people didn't do that. I got no time to sit in no beds. Alex didn't see Ryan after the vote. 49% of people did that. I mean, Ryan is just captain of Team Petty. Charlotte sided with Alex during the vote. 37% of people did that. Charlotte turned her back on Alex. Damn. A lot of people had Alex... Uh, not supported by Charlotte. That's crazy. Eleanor offered to help Alex. 52% of people. Pike sided with Alex during the vote. 72% of people. Ducky remained loyal to Jed. Well, fuck you, Ducky. Ryan believed Jed during the vote. 
most people. That's crazy. I wonder how you can convince Ryan. Like I said, is it only if you try to get with him romantically that he'll back you up? Or is there just another way? Like, do you got to hang out with him, like, with the free time that you have? Ryan and Alex don't get together. Ryan and Alex don't get together? Oh, yeah, okay. That's probably why. Because most people probably went with Steph. Steph and Alex leave Haven together. 35% of people did that. And Steph stays in Haven to be with Alex. 36% of people did that. And Steph and Alex don't get together. Eh, whatever. Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back. I think I'm going to forgive Jed, and I want to see what that looks like. And then I'm going to stay in Haven Springs, and let's see what that looks like too. And then I'm going to compare which choices were better for me. All right, so we're going to say that we forgive him. And I forgive you. He has the same reaction either way. What would you all do? Would you forgive the man who killed your brother and your dad? Or would you condemn him for being a murderer? I think most of you would say you would forgive, right? I mean, me? I'm just like, you killed my family. And I'm not going to forgive that because they didn't need to die. Okay, so we are going to stay in Haven and let's see what happens. I know what I want. Let's see if it plays out just like how Gabe said. You know, the more I think about it, the choice I made to condemn Jed, I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, Jed clearly has remorse for the people that he killed. And it was an accident. It was. It was an accident. But the thing with Gabe was that they knew that somebody was there and they still went off with the explosion anyway. So it didn't happen just once. It happened twice. But, um, you know, we saw what happens when we forgive. And we saw what happens when we condemn. Now this is what happens when we stay in Haven. And there's copyrighted music, so definitely censoring this. So yeah, final thoughts on this game. Like I said, Alex was my favorite character. I loved everybody, to be honest. Nobody was kind of just like, ugh. Maybe Ryan. I don't know. He, he was kind of a generic character. I think I liked him the least. I really wish Gabe could have lived a little bit longer. But it is what it is. Gabe dying is what made the story what it is. So he had to die. He had to die for plot reasons. Let me know what you all thought about this game in the comment section down below. But that is going to do it for Life is Strange True Colors. I can't believe it's already over. Shout out to Square Enix again for giving your boy the game so I can play it for you all. I really do appreciate that. If you all enjoyed this series and want me to play the next one when it comes out, make sure you all give this video one big fat like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is that dude.